So get ready if you love grease and you've got cheers, they're about to be multiplying. <laughs> The flooding could be dangerous to drive through right there. And to give you some context, it's right near the popular 30th Street in North Park where there are a lot of restaurants. There's another closure at Myrtle Avenue between Ray Street to Grimm Avenue right down here. That's the most travelers this area has seen since the year 2005. The reason? The booming economy is making people feel like they have more money for gas and vacation. It's that time again. The World Cup. Now we know a lot of you don't have cable anymore and that's okay. Luckily you can always download the NBC7 mobile app. 10 miles away from these evacuation orders and you can see that it's right here near the 78. Parents wanted to know why the change in the learning format was happening now. So I took their concerns to the school district to get answers. It's virtual reality to teach teens how to look out for sex trafficking signs. Sights and sounds help them know what to look for. That's according to a list released by Niche.com that shows the 2018 best cities for millennials. San Diego was only ranked number 44. And if you're wondering what number one is, it's right here in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Police say the robbery happened over here near 63rd Street. The suspect then allegedly ran down Montezuma and jumped into a neighbor's backyard, making students around here nervous. Make sure to send them to our Fox 5 Facebook page. Look at that though, could you imagine driving past that? Every new label requires federal approval, and that's a problem nowadays because the offices that handle that process are currently closed due to the government shutdown. The carousel is one of the fastest in the United States. Fishing is a favorite hobby for some around San Diego, but you could be illegally poaching without knowing it. I had no clue. It's against the law to take any animals or even shells off the beach, from Diamond Street in Pacific Beach up to Palmar Avenue in La Jolla. This is one of 11 marine protected areas in San Diego County. And in this reserve, any take of any living or non-living marine resource is illegal. If it's illegal, then they need to be fined. Anyone caught illegally poaching in these waters could face up to a $1,000 fine for every animal they have. Activists are trying to make that a $40,000 fine. <laughs> Fish and, and crustaceans, even sand and other resources, rocks, all that stuff is a very important part of the marine habitat. It's important that we protect really every aspect of that. Over the summer, Governor Jerry Brown passed laws to crack down on illegal poaching. There's got to be rules to protect the environment, protect wildlife. So go to Red Lobster, buy, <laughs> buy a damn, you know, buy one legally. Danielle Radin, NBC7. It's all about woman empowerment. Just strolling through the exhibit hall at Comic-Con, you can see it. More booths, bags, and banners displaying strong women. The panels I'm able to go to this year versus the first year I came are so incredible. Like, I'm going to one on the importance of women in comics and, like, body diversity. People we talked to in San Diego agree the influence of the Me Too movement can be felt at Comic-Con this year. There's more cosplay of women. There's more merchandise of female characters. Whether it's women dressing up in outfits once reserved for men. This is actually, I mean, lady version of one of my favorite boy characters. Or taking pictures with female cosplayers at the convention center. One gentleman earlier actually asked permission before putting his arm around us, which is kind of new, and I liked that. Even the metro transit system is on board, passing out these collectible trolley tickets. You can get them at the transit store. Not only do all four collectors pass as feature women, they were also designed by women. They were inspired by the Me Too movement, female empowerment, so yeah, these are really cool. It's nice to get a little bit more respect. Danielle Radin, NBC7. If you live here, this is what you're having to put up with. For Jonathan Freeman, the final straw with scooters came when one crashed into his blind dog. The scooter comes up from behind us, hits him in the head. If it had been a second later, would it have hit him in the body and, and that would have killed him. Ever since, he's been trying to police riders outside his home in the gas lamp district. Excuse me, you know this is illegal, what you're doing? It's illegal to ride those here? But so far, it's been mostly unsuccessful. And it's gonna hit the dog or me. You can't relax and walk in pleasure, it's, it's a nightmare. That's why he's happy the company's scooter removal came along. Please don't ride them here. Homeowners and businesses can call them 24 seven to pick up scooters and bicycles from private property. It's a free service to the community. Our company collects the products, and in turn, we invoice the, the companies that own the products. The company also helps home and business owners set up a no parking zone in front of their property. All you have to do is register through their app called Scoot Scoop. 
At that point, the company responds by putting it on their app to their users, letting them know they are in a no parking zone. We post signs at the property. They're helping reduce the number of scooters that are on the street. Danielle Radin, NBC7.